Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you all my recipe for bagels. Now I'm doing a very basic version. You guys can switch this up and make it a sweet version if you wanted to by adding more sugar. So I'll do a recipe for that in the coming weeks, but today let me show you how easy this basic bagel is to put together. So to start this recipe, we're starting in my cup here with two and a quarter cups of lukewarm water. To that, I'm going to go in with my sugar and instant yeast. Now, although I use instant yeast, I like to do this method because it tells me if the yeast is good. If it's nice and froty like you'll see here, the yeast is good. If it's not froty, you'll need to throw it away and start over with a new packet of yeast. So set that aside and bring around your flour. To my all-purpose flour, I'm adding in salt. Next, I'm going to give this a good mix. And here I'm using my Danish dough hook. If you wanted to, you can use a spatula to help you bring this together. Now I'm going to add in all of my liquid, that mixture. Now if you're afraid that your dough will get too soft, you can add in your mixture a little at a time and knead it until it all comes together. So remember, don't add all of once if you're afraid. Now once your dough is shaggy, go ahead and sprinkle on your softened butter and mix that to bring it together you're going to be looking for a nice soft to medium dough it's going to be somewhat very sticky but not very very soft now i'm going to switch over to my hands so i can start kneading this knead it just like you would knead roti or any type of dough i like to squeeze and turn you guys know all of the ways that i like to make my dough I like to squeeze it really well. I want that gluten to form. You want a nice, smooth, supple dough. And if you need a little bit of dry flour, just add a little bit, but don't add too much. And continue to knead it for about five to eight minutes until it's very, very smooth. The longer you knead it, the better. So I'm gonna continue kneading it and bring it into a dough ball. Once it comes into a dough ball, we're going to go ahead and grease it with some butter, some oil on the top and on the bottom. Next, you want to cover this and set it aside in a nice warm place like your oven with a bowl of boiling hot water which will help to proof this faster. So you're going to allow it to proof until it doubles in size. Once it doubles in size, you're going to go ahead and punch down on your dough. You see how beautiful that dough looks, nice and smooth and perfect. And we're going to be breaking this into small dough balls. So I would average around three ounces. You don't wanna break them too big if you break them really, really big. They're going to be humongous so you want to break them pretty small so three inches in diameter and you don't want to make them too tight when you make your dough balls so just loosely make them into that dough ball and set them aside now what you want to do next is go ahead and press down to flatten out the dough balls a little bit because you don't want these to turn into a high mound you want them to have that shape and that look of bagels. Next, I'm taking a cookie cutter and I'm going to cut out rounds. If you don't have a cookie cutter, just use something that's very sharp that you can make holes with. And you can take those extras that when you cut it out and bring them back together to form another. Once you're finished doing this step, you're going to cover it and allow it to rest for about 10 to 15 minutes until they plump up a little bit. And once they're done resting, you pick them up, be very gentle, and maybe you'd want to flour your surface just to make sure it doesn't stick. And place them in boiling hot water. This is just plain water, nothing additional, and it's simmering. And I'm going to go in and let it cook for about eight seconds on each side. 
it's not gonna take very long so just go ahead and flip it over and give it a spin and then you're going to remove it and set it aside on your parchment paper I would give you a tip grease your parchment paper or spray your parchment paper so when they bake they don't stick to the parchment paper now they look deflated but trust me they're not so I'm going to go ahead and continue steaming the rest of these and once they're done and I have them on my parchment paper the next step will be to add my egg wash now I'm using an egg wash if you wanted to keep it vegetarian I suggest using butter to glaze these so you're going to butter it or use your egg wash on them before they go into the oven and next I'm using my everything bagel seasoning to sprinkle over the top that egg or the butter will help hold that seasoning and you can use any type of toppings you want to do for this recipe even parmesan cheese here I'm sprinkling with some coarse sea salt these bake at 420 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes or until they're golden brown and cooked and this is what they look like how beautiful do they look and they smell buttery and amazing so all I'm going to do is transfer them onto my wire rack allow them to cool down because you don't want them to sweat if you leave them on that parchment paper and they're hot and once they're finished now you can enjoy these hot if you like but allow them to cool down because if you cut them they'll look like if they're raw inside because that's what happens when you try to cut hot dough so let me show you guys it looks and it feels so crunchy on the outside it has that nice crunch on the outside and it's nice and pillowy soft on the inside just look at it so amazing you guys are going to go to heaven after you eat this it's so so delicious nice and soft as I said and this is the one that's plain with just the sea salt on the top so I hope you guys enjoy today's recipe do follow all of the tips that I left on the screen for you if you make it comment down below and let me know what you think thank you all so much for requesting this one tag me on Instagram if you post it so I can repost your pictures thank you all again and do remember to stay safe bye everyone